Hey guys, it's Mike at Narc Selected Customs. Hey, today Steven is doing all the work in this video. We uh, basically just set the camera up, gonna let it run and record while he uh, while he builds a gate for our buddy uh, Fernando, who uh, mows yards on the side. So Fernando basically needed a better gate because of the gate that we just saw that was all beat up and the extended metal was breaking down real bad. So we are gonna, Steven is gonna do that in this video. And here he's welding up the frame, the outside frame. He's using all two by two, uh, I don't remember what wall thickness on it, but he basically wanted to get the, make sure everything is squared up there and uh, is welding the edge up with the uh, Millermatic DVI tube. Steven is cutting the, uh, he's setting up the expanded metal and uh, now obviously using the grinder to cut it off. Um, we purchased all the metal and everything for this project at Wheeler Metals here in Rogers, or uh, there in Rogers, we live in Bentonville, but uh, there in Rogers. So I, I don't remember the cost, but I'll try and text him here in a minute and uh, see if he can, see if he can get it over to me and I'll put it later on in the video.
Fernando uses the uh, these little assists from Harbor Freight. Says they're about 200 bucks and says they have saved his back uh, immensely, immensely. So he highly recommended those for anyone that was looking at this to uh, to help with their trailer. Steven has started, uh, he drilled the holes there for the rod that will hold the trailer uh, or hold the ramp it? up. Uh, so now he's bringing it over to the vise and is going to attempt to swing that big old hammer and uh, hit it, or little old hammer and hit it and bend it, but that is not going to work. So uh, we had to drag out the, the torch to help uh, melt this. This is one inch, uh, or well, I guess it's probably half inch dowel, not half inch dowel, half inch solid rod. So pretty hefty stuff, and uh, you'll see what we do with it here in just a minute. Almost. Back with the torch here, um, basically bending it so it will sit uh, with the lock pin down, the lock end down. So we're, he added this extra bit of weight. Now this is not something that I would have even thought of, um, but that's part of his common sense and uh, and knowledge of building things helps with this a ton. Uh, you'll see he bends it at a 90 and then bends it down. Then he bends it out a little bit as well to uh, for a little bit of a handle there and to help move it around. So, pretty smart idea, I thought that was a, a really neat deal. Damn, dude. What is it? I want to do right here. Yeah, that's what the other one has, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in that way, it slides in one in pockets. 
not the way to my room. Bend it out? Yeah, that's what the other one does. Man. How are you going to do that? Back though? it up? Nah, you need to. Move it? Nah, yeah. Obviously, I had to get involved here. I mean, you know, if you need precision, cutting torch, placement, uh, you gotta get me involved there. <laughs> I couldn't have bent this at all, but uh, we messed with it a little bit. I uh, had to finagle it to fit in there, but uh, everything worked out great. Customer's were super happy with the, the tailgate. He messaged me today and said that, uh, that it's working perfect and way better than his old one. say thank you for watching uh, we'd appreciate if you should subscribe <laughs> or uh to see more daily updates you can also follow us on instagram on instagram facebook and TikTok. thanks so much guys see you come here and put your face over this it's good for your for the steam bath <laughs> Yeah, dude, I can feel the heat coming off that son of a bitch for 